night, three Thursday night, but we got court on Friday, on Friday, because um, it's continuing this past Thursday, but we'll see what happens. Or take at least 15 minutes from Walmart on Newborn Avenue here in Raleigh to Capitol Boulevard. But it or oh, whatever, very longer than that. But like, I don't know, 30 minutes to get to, to Capitol Boulevard. But I have to wait 15 minutes. It's like, Every 30 minutes for one bus that I need to take just to get to my husband's work. But right now it's hard, hard and we're struggling concerning money wise because uh, we're broke and no money to buy any food because we have to depend on his food workers. To um, help us out with stuff and everything, and I just do with my rings. Let's say, wait, a ring of mine that my grandmother gave me um, last week is for a hotel room. So, time being, for a night, due to the protection order that my stupid brother had to put on my fucking husband. Excuse my language, but it's true. I hate all this legal shit. I hate courts. I have to, I hate being I hate dealing with this with my with my concerning my husband, but I'm putting up with it with like with my husband at least. But who knows? Um, I got like probably like less than 10 minutes for the bus right now, so that's the bus stop right there behind me. This is where I had to stand, just for the bus. Traffic going by me right now. Well, not a lot, but there's a good amount of traffic on the street. So, we'll see what happens. I hate this. I hate bullshit. I hate big accusations. I. 
I do hate lies. I hate fake people. Um, all my brother wants to do is lie to my husband. Pissing in all this uh, uh, legal shit that he's supporting to my husband. Like, saying that my husband's friend of God. Uh, damaging doors and walls. Of course, it's not true. Uh, my brother has said that my husband threatened, said that he threatened, or said something like, uh, don't talk to my husband, like, my husband said that not to talk to him, or he's gonna kill him, which is not true, never said it, but make sure you know who you're dealing with, you people, especially when you play viewers on here. Um, never deal with fake people at all. Because fake people will get you in trouble, especially with family or friends. Make sure you know who your true friends are, who your true family is. Because if not, then you'll be in that fucking shit hellhole. You know? Gotta be careful who you deal with. But, me and my husband are trying to deal with this situation the best we can, especially being in the hotel room. Well, for him right now, but I can set the house because he can't be there because it's the extension of the protection order to Friday. But at least, um,. We have a lawyer, thanks to my dad, but, you know, I'm not going to put out any names right now on here because I don't want to expose people and everything like that that are, like, highly recommended in the lawyer world or, like, the judge world or whatever because I want to be cautious about names right now on scope or even, like, anywhere on social media. But I s highly recommend not to use your lawyer's name or anything concerning the lawyer helping you out with legal stuff. But still, whatever you got dealing with with court, do the best you can. Because, like, especially with your lawyer, if you got evidence for the lawyer and everything, and uh. I think we'll be good. But be safe out there, you guys. Especially like people on the coast right now, dealing with outages and everywhere else in North, North and South Carolina right now due to Hurricane Florence. Right now, be safe out there. Um, if you got property damage, please take care of that. Make sure your pets are safe with you, with, you got, like, with everyone. If you got pets, make sure, like, if you got kids, make sure they're, uh, safe and taken care of. Hopefully I'll jump on scope later on, if I get any years later, I hope. But we'll see what goes on later on. Later, guys.